tank, uh, the SB Imperative. We're really here for the same reason that you're here. Uh, we're all here because we believe education is an opportunity provider for the people of our area. And we believe that it's the future economy and quality of life of our area depends on what we do with education. So the SB Imperative is putting together business, education, government leaders to create the best possible higher education enterprise regardless of the budget deficits of the state. This is a joint effort of the Shreveport, Bossier, and African American Chambers of Commerce, the Committee of 100 Community Foundation, the cities of Shreveport, Bossier City, the parishes of Caddo and Bossier, and the colleges and universities that reside in our area. We believe that Northwest Louisiana is future <coughs> depends on education achievement of the people that live here. Um, it can only happen if we have excellence in higher education. We believe we have it now, and we need to grow it. Uh, we have two of the fastest growing community colleges in the nation here in both the Parish Community College and Southern University of Shreveport. We have the best non-residential urban university in our state in LSU Shreveport. We have the best medical school and deliverer of health care in this state, in LSU Health Science Center. Uh, we have down the road uh, a great research in university in Louisiana Tech. We have Grambling right next to Louisiana Tech, which brings people from all over the country here, and a lot of them stay and become leaders in our community. And we have down the other way, I-49, we have Northwestern, which is the fourth largest nursing school in the nation. Uh, and a leader in distance learning. So we have the parts. We just need to continue to grow them. We can't let this deter us. We believe higher education is an investment. It's not an expense. Uh, and uh, it should be considered that way. For every dollar that the state spends uh, on higher education, there's an $8 return to the state of Louisiana. We need to keep that in mind. And we believe that higher education is the foundation of a knowledge economy. We are poised for success for a knowledge economy. Uh, we have Global Strike Command. We have a healthcare sector that's very healthy. Uh, we have uh, uh, Haynesville Shell, the energy possibilities, film and digital media, uh, the broadband networks with Lonnie, uh, nanotechnology research. We have all of these things going on uh, that can make us truly the key to Governor Jindal's Blue Ocean Strategy. We just need to remember that in order to have that strategy, we have to have the educated, skilled workforce through our colleges to support that. As business leaders, we all know that a skilled, educated workforce is the cornerstone of success in our growing our area's economy and our quality of life. Strong colleges are required. Right now, two-thirds of the jobs that support a family uh, require some sort of post-secondary education. In 2020, it's projected in Louisiana that half of those jobs will require a four-year degree. So we're moving in a global economy that's tied to education, and we need to be part of that. We know it means a lot to people. Uh, we're, our associate's degree means $500,000 more in a lifetime in wages than a high school degree. A university degree is a million dollars more in a lifetime. So it means a lot. It's the foundation of entrepreneurship, new business, and new jobs. We believe preserving the core of higher education and protecting the best and brightest talent in our state uh, will require reducing the uncertainty that currently exists around higher education and a comprehensive approach to funding solutions in that. Otherwise, there's going to be a fire sale. Out if it's not already occurring with other states. Let me just put this as an analogy to what I do, something I'm comfortable with. I'm a cardiologist. When someone comes to the emergency room to see me and they're having a heart attack, everybody is key to one thing. That thing is we want to open the blood vessel for that heart attack and stop the heart attack. We don't think, we don't talk about diet or exercise or medicines or any of that at that point in time. This is much like the case for higher education. We have to deal with a heart attack, which 
are the resource issues that exist right now. And as we do this, later in the hospitalization, we're going to have to talk about the diet, exercise, medicines that are going to be need to stay healthy as a higher education enterprise. Louisiana has to be committed to continuous investment uh, and continuous improvement in higher education. And we believe that re-engineering is a huge opportunity and that we have a huge opportunity with what's happening right now. Shreveport Bossier Colleges are the operational model that policymakers have been wanting to have all over Louisiana. We already have it. We have a very strong community college system that articulates with our universities. We are the model that the state seeks. Um, we embrace the non-traditional student here. Accessibility. This is a metropolitan area of over 400,000 people. We have to provide this post-secondary education for the people that live here. We do that by giving autonomy to our leaders, if we have great leaders, and accountability for performance. So what is the SB imperative work? This is a kickoff of a campaign. It's an organized effort. First of all, it's a solution-based approach. We could do the squeaky wheel gets the grease. We can stand up and, and holler about all of the problems. We've chosen a more value-based approach. We want to bring ideas uh, into this discussion. And in so doing, the Committee of 100 and the Community Foundation and the higher education institutions work together to develop resources to bring Eva Klein, who is a national higher education consultant and well known in this state, to look at this in a more effective <coughs> way. And she has done that um, and developed a foundation for an agenda. We recognize, she recognizes budget deficits are real deficits. But as Eva Klein noted, we can't cut our way to success in our state. And as an alternative, we need to define a funding floor on which the state will support. And that funding floor, will we will not go under that funding floor. In order to do that, we have to build on the LeGrad Act, which was passed last year. We're going to have to look to uh, those that are getting the services uh, to be more involved in paying for those services. Right now, for tuition, a full-time student, they only pay 12 hours, regardless of how many credit hours they have. We can bring a lot of money back into higher education by considering just basic tuition per credit hour, like almost every other state uh, in the United States. We need to spread the pain of the state budget cuts across more of the budget rather than just higher education health care, and believe the gov governor and legislature are looking at those possibilities. There's an executive summary, a short discussion, and a complete presentation of even client stuff on our website, which is very easy to use, sbimperative.com. Those are the messages of Eva Klein. We also met with every one of our Northwest Louisiana legislative delegations because we wanted to understand their perspective. What we learned from them is this. There is a need for change. There's no rabbit coming out of the hat this time. This is a real budget deficit. Uh, they will need help with writing the recipe for gumbo, and we have to go beyond thinking out of the box to creating a whole new box on how we do this. We met with the chancellors. What they told us was that the goal of the SP imperative should be position higher education to be more responsive to the people of this community. Uh, understand, they help us understand the consequences of huge cuts, what that would mean. And they also talked to us about the right metrics. Right now, Bossier Parish Community College is having a graduation ceremony. Uh, last year, they had 780 folks across the stage uh, in graduation. Out of those 780, graduated from Bossier Parish Community College, only 80 of them count toward their graduation rate. It's 10%. At LSU and Shreveport, it's somewhere around 20%. Non-traditional students have to be served if they're not counted a lot of times in these graduation rates. So don't be confused by some of that uh, about where we are as far as a city and how
how we graduate our folks. And lastly, we are organized to advocate for our interests. Uh, we have to be organized. We have 20 business leaders that are willing to go down to Baton Rouge and plead our case and tell our message. Uh, we have five government relations experts that have volunteered to take some of their time every day they're down there at Baton Rouge, also talking about this message from our community. Uh, students are organizing in our area to support this. Uh, we also learned from Eva Klein this, that no man is an island, uh, and that we can't put ourselves off in an island to ourselves on this issue. It's counterproductive. Uh, it has to be approached in a statewide way, too. So we, word of this SB imperative, trust me, has gone down I-20 and I-49 and across I-10. And they know what we're doing here. And they want to do the same around the state. So we are involved in the leadership in a statewide effort with the State Committee of 100, the Blueprint Louisiana Cable, and other chambers of commerce from around the state. The movement can't be the voices of just a few people. Uh, that won't work. It'll fail without your voice uh, and recruitment of more voices in that. And with that, I'm going to turn this over to John A. McCrary. He's going to tell you a little bit about how to get involved. Let me close with this quote. Lester Thoreau said, Impractical problems are usually not impractical because there are no solutions, but because there are no solutions without side effects. It's only when we demand solutions at no cost that there are no solutions. Just a thought. With that, I'm very appreciative. Thank you for everybody that's here, that cares about the community enough to come out and support it in this effort. Donette?